All right, this is hollow body. It can be violent or disturbing, so do be a little bit careful. And it also says that you should try to play with controller because that's the way it's going to be best enjoyed. This is the Steam Next Fest playable teaser, and I'm excited to dive in and see what it's got to offer. Demo version 1.1. This is work in progress. Demonstration intended to showcase the core mechanical and visual features of hollow body. Okay, so things have been modified for the demo. Consider wishlisting because it's been developed by one person. Dang, that's impressive. Uh, just the amount that I've seen from the trailer shows that this is actually a very large game, so the fact that one person did this is pretty amazing. Warning. Severe weather conditions identified. <laughs> you think? What gave it away? Helpful AI. Several of my atmospheric sensors are reading concerning levels That was a rhetorical of... question, Beeb. I recommend that we establish a safe landing zone with the utmost urgency. Oh, I like the voice acting. It's all right, we will. We're about three miles out from where Sasha was posted. You think you can hold on? There is a statistical probability that ignoring these warnings may result in an incident with fatal repercussion. Sorry, I'm unable to process your request. What? The, the root function Beep? termination uh -oh. is protected and will require admi administrator approval. Uh oh, we're flying blind now. Oh, well, so much for YouTube monetization, eh? <laughs> Here we go. Uh, oh, my car is kind of a DeLorean-esque vibe going on there. It's Batmobile meets uh, Professor Doc Brown. Well, they're setting up the steampunk environment really well. I woke to the acrid smell of an electrical fire, rain pounding on the cracked windshield of my hover. I guess steampunk, I don't know. It's not cyberpunk, it's not steampunk, it's a... Oh, man, my brain is not working, but it's, you know, kind of like a post-apocalyptic sci-fi future. I don't know. If we were to stand any chance of getting out of here, I'd need an evac plan. I had a vantage point someplace high enough to get a signal through on my radio and call for help. All right. So we had to get up high so that our radio work. This wasn't over. Can I get out? System critical. Okay. All right. It's just kind of a Resident Evil vibe now going on. Silent Hill, maybe. Okay, what are my buttons? Doesn't seem like I can push anything other than just the left stick. Press that to switch your torch on or off. Okay. Left digital pad for my flashlight. Can we go up through here? Nope. Can I loot anything? Right, let's just kind of go where it seems like they want us to go out. I like to explore in games like this, but press A to interact when seek is displayed. Okay. Oh, we got medical repair spray. Okay. No, I don't want it. I'm good. <laughs> Just leave it there. <laughs> okay. Uh, where? Uh, this is the inventory, right? It said press Y to open the inventory. What? Oh, there it is. Item. Uh, okay. I didn't see where it was selected. Okay. Item. Oh, I got a revolver, but it's empty. Dang it. A uh, Kotec radio. A lighter. Repair spray. Inspect. Use. Heal me up, baby. Okay. Press X to run. Now that I'm healed up, I can run. I assume I'm not going down there. Yeah. Okay. So let's go up this way. Can I go through this broken building? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Just follow where the channel need to go. This is the tutorial section, Cynic. You don't need to get all crazy and exploratory. Just go where the dev wants you to go. This is a demo, a playable teaser. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Getting a feel for what this environment is. A little Generation Zero, maybe? Sort of vibe? Twenty kilometers per hour. I think I can stay under that. You know, I'll try. Sometimes I do get my sprint on. 
But I think we're good here. Okay, so now they're trying to tell us that we have to explore somewhere. Because I assume I can't go through there. Oh, when the camera switches like that, I... I mean, it's true to, like, Silent Hill and... Like the street was intentionally closed off. But what were they trying to keep out? But it's always a little jarring when it suddenly changes. I signal through to tax. I think I saw an apartment block nearby. That should have roof access. Okay. Where was this apartment block? I didn't notice it. Okay. I definitely uh, like the ambiance. Very creepy. The map seems to be laid out well. They're guiding me well. Though I'm not 100% sure where the apartment block is. It would be nice if she would speak up and maybe be like, Oh, you know, it's back here. Maybe she'll give me clues like that auditorily. Kind of surprised. I said there was one person, but the voice acting was really good. Like, maybe they just have a lot of friends? I don't know. Stop. Biohazard. No, that's not great. Anything to seek? I was blocked by an old supply lorry. Very British. I should focus on finding somewhere high enough to get a signal through. Okay. I've got to use my radio and call for help, but I just don't see where this apartment block that you're talking about is. Where would it be? Because I'm back at the beginning now. Well, let's see if we can look down here. Huge towering, towering walls surrounded the city. If I was going to stand a chance of getting out of here, I'd need help. Alright, but where's this apartment block? You were the one that said you saw it, lady. Not me. At least I can sprint now. The sprint's a little slower than I like, but it's not terrible. And again, it's pretty true to, like, Silent Hill 1. I thought I saw something. That was weird. Maybe it's just the rain on the edge of my camera. Alright, so there's an apartment block over there. Maybe I can sneak, like, through here? No. No way to open the doors. Okay. But at least I think I see the apartment block she's talking about. So we just need to find a way to get over there to the right. Oh. Oh. Can I search through here? No. Okay. Just an old car consumed by this stuff. I would appreciate it if there was a little more camera control. But again, I know that that's controversial, right? Because Resident Evil has completely forced camera. And Silent Hill has frequently forced cameras. So... This might be, you know, the way it was mostly intended to be. Because it does put you a little off-kilter when you can't look around. You feel like you lose your peripheral vision. How do I get through to the other side, though? Is, like, one of these doors going to be open? I feel like I'm missing something obvious. Like a big gap in something. Oh. What is this stuff? Looks like it's reaching for something. The seek zones are maybe a little finicky, finicky small. I wouldn't mind if they were just slightly bigger. Oh, what about up here? Anything good up here? Doesn't look like it. Well, let's go to the fence, because sometimes when you get to an area, that it'll, it'll say seek, right? And so maybe, maybe I'm even going to, like, jump over a fence. Somebody's backyard... I think I'm supposed to go this way, though. Yeah, there we go. I didn't even see this path the first time. Oh, I gotta stop and swing and play on the playground. Come on. Let me swing. Alright. I get that maybe that doesn't gel with the vibe of this game. Oh. How'd I do that? Is it just A? How did I make it go? Hmm. Maybe I'm just bumping into it in at the right way sometimes. Weird. Oh, that light's on. 
Will she look at it? No. Can I drag that over? Nice. Yeah, this this definitely feels like Silent Hill, right? When you push the bookshelves over, things like that, right? It's the same sort of puzzles. Um, and again, you could say that's derivative, but I this feels like a love letter to that era of gaming. It just it feels really good. I like it. It's intriguing. The atmosphere is dark and creepy, and I think sooner than later we're gonna find uh, some extra creepy stuff. Okay, time to find a way up to the roof. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my light. Even though I don't really need it just yet, I'm just curious to see if like things will glow. Various old boxes, empty paint cans, just junk. Okay. Same thing here. Staff only. Storage box locks with a large padlock. Maybe I can find a way to pry it open. Well, they're doing a really good job showing you what you need to do. I like that. That it's just it's not obvious, but it's, you know, you're not likely to miss it, which is important. All right, what's this say? We used to be we happy. We used to be happy. And then there's an X on... I couldn't tell exactly. Can I look at it again? So the, what, that's we the... We used to be happy. Middle... Middle, uh... Room? The lock is blocked with some kind of expanding foam. Break that. You can rip expanding foam. What are you, you got noodles for arms? All right. So I need like a knife. What what items do I have again? Lighter, revolver. Oh, ammo. I do have ammo. Can I combine it with my revolver? Hey, there we go. I have six whole bullets. Okay. Item. Lighter. Use. Nothing to set a light here. Oh, I have to do it right next to the thing. Okay. Um. Let's do item. Nope. Uh, how do I switch? There we go. Use. Okay. Can I inspect it? An old flint strike lighter. A family heirloom. A family heirloom. <laughs> Again, I know that sounds silly and dumb if you haven't played any of the old games, but that's that's absolutely a reference to some of these older games. So I can aim with the left trigger. I also like the controls. The controls have been really obvious, exactly what you would expect them to be, which is nice. All right, well, let's go upstairs. Shut with an electronic lock. I mean, the only one I might disagree with is the seek is A. I, I think it might be a little better as X, but that's fine. It's not like a big deal. And there is still some disagreement about which one is more standard. This key is locked tight, okay? I wonder if I have a map that updates itself like in Silent Hill. Let's see if uh, if we go to map. Oh, whoa. Okay, this is not like Silent Hill. This is now like, oh, what's its name? Uh, Metal Gear Solid or something? Interesting. Okay. Well, oh, it did say seek eventually. There's no power running to the elevator. I assume not. If you are ever in a building like this, and there's rubble falling somewhere, don't get in an elevator. That's, that's just bad ideas. Okay. What is this machine? A video phone, okay. Practically antiques now. Oh, so this is like... kind of Blade Runner vibes, almost. I like that. Silent Hill meets Blade Runner. I'm a fan. Not sure what they were thinking when they bought this. Couldn't tell what this is. The art on the wall, maybe? That could be. Gross, I'm not touching any of this. Okay. I mean, you're in a life or death situation. If something's gross, doesn't seem like a good enough justification. Just some old trash. You couldn't pay me to sleep in this place. Nothing of use. Forgotten relics of life long lost. Revolver ammo. Hey, I like that. Always a fan of ammo. Oh, weird. The hexagons on the wall. That's a very interesting texture. Well, hollow body is definitely uh, starting to ramp up just right. I love the Silent Hill vibes. 
Come on. Oh. I just... Yeah, the, the seek zones are a little bit small. Okay, no water. Where, it's like right around here there was a seek popping up, but... Maybe it's just that I was... Oh, no. I'm just gonna mash this. There we go, just some old trash. Okay. Alright, so I think it was just triggering that a little bit. Couldn't pay me to take a share on this place. Yeah, it's definitely... There's just a, a little bit of jank when it comes to uh, the seek areas. Did I check everything? I think I did, yeah. Okay, we're good. Whoa. Those camera changes are a little jarring, but again, very true to the homage that they're paying to Silent Hill. So that was 221. All right. I want to find something creepy. Come on. Okay, 2.4. Oh, these ones are boarded up. Okay. Just junk. Yeah, even even the music is just so Silent Hill. If you told me that this was a new Silent Hill game, I, I would believe you. Even though it feels retro, I'd be like, oh, they're going for a retro vibe. So bravo to the developer, Headware Games, because they've uh they've really nailed this. What was that? All right, we're going to go right wall. Oh, wait, here we go. There's a door. I like that. A door that's ajar. It's a, a very good visual clue of what to do. All right, same thing. Still water at the bottom. Hey, repair spray. I like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another video phone was all the rage. I like that she doesn't say the same thing every time. She's got a few different things she says about it. That's fun. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, is that a cowboy? What the? What's on his head? Like a VR headset, maybe? Thurston M. Unemployed. Deceased. Cause cardiovascular failure. Does I say 231? 2.31. I think that's what that says. Yeah, I want to take the key. Gator House. 2.31. Okay. And then, it just like in Silent Hill, I assume, you know, sometimes you can, like, look at it and say inspect. A room key for Gator House. The number 2.3 is scrawled on the back. Yeah, so even if you couldn't quite see what it said, it when you inspect it, it'll give you the clue in a clearer way. Well, what does that say? Can't tell. All right, so I've got a key to room point three, two point it's three. Trapped. Okay. Anything on the balcony? Oh yeah, there's some ammo. Gimme, gimme. I'm a little concerned as to what I'm gonna have to use this ammo for. Oh, there's a note on the table. It would be nice if there was a hotkey to s hurry and inspect the thing you just picked up, right? Rather than having to go to item, go find the document. Alright. Oh, it's under documents, okay? Mika, honey, you might not... You might want to be sitting down for this. I took the job. I know how you feel. I care about how you feel, too. I'm losing sleep over this. I'm running through my head over and over. I feel like there's a piece missing. You said you didn't understand, but I didn't need you to. I just need you to know that this isn't about you or me. Or some one-way trip. I'm not going to die there. It's just because I need to know something. The team's all checked out. We've got a way in and an afternoon to find something concrete. We'll be in and out before you know it. And this whole thing will just be another job. Please don't hate me. I love you. Okay. Oh, newspapers. Okay. Interesting. I'll let you pause and read that if you want to. But uh, not sure where I got that newspaper from. Interesting. But I like, again, they did a great job with this. There's a different font that looks like handwriting. And then they've got a very good looking newspaper. All the assets have been really solid. There's clearly a lot of love and care that went into this game. Which is... I mean, it's not a guarantee that the game's going to be fun. But it is a guarantee that they are trying hard and that they're going to do the best job they can. Which I always love to see with an indie dev. So Hollow Body looks like one that I am definitely going to wishlist. Because it's oozing with Silent Hill vibes and love and care from the dev. Kill for a shower right now, but not this one. It smells like death. Nice. Okay. 
wait, okay, so what is that Kotak? That's a radio, right? Can I use it here to see what, a flashback? Baby, are you sure you're all right? You've not touched your dinner. I just, er, I'm not hungry. Did you guys eat after work or I'm not hungry? Come on, you didn't take your lunch with you today. You have to eat something. Take a walk. What? Take a walk. Give me some space. Uh, you're scaring me, honey. Please, just tell me what's wrong. We can work this out. I'm fine. I'm not hungry. I need some space. Maybe this construction job just wasn't such a great idea. Take a walk. It's raining out. Where can I go? I, I said take a walk. This is our home. I live here. Get out of my house. Hmm. I will give a little bit of advice to the dev there. It was a little hard to tell when it switched from one person to the other. You could either do different colored fonts or you could do like left side, right side. Um, just to help it be clear when they're switching back and forth between the two parties, right? All right, nothing there. Oh, yep, yeah, that camera switching is always irritating with the controls. It's full of old rotten garments. Okay. I hate to think how long it's been since those sheets have been washed. Anything back in that corner? Nope. Pile of trash, no use to me. Ooh. Hey, where's the front door? Okay. I think we gotta go to room 2.3. So this is 210. I think 23 was down here because it said it was locked before. I can't remember if it was left or right, but it was close to this one. There's 22, so it must be the next one. Two, four, two, three. Here we go. That was good. It auto helped you to go to your inventory. I wouldn't mind if it just automatically used it, but you know, I get that maybe that's the vibe you're going for. Slow, tedious, to make you feel, you know, off kilter the whole time. Floors collapse, leading to the room below. Jump. Yeah, I jump down there. What the? That looks like Half-Life 2 head crab rocket. The ones that... Yeah, see, look at that. This looks like one of those missiles that uh, drops out head crabs. The missile lies dormant under the rubble. Is it active? I don't want to wait around to find out. Ooh, the vid phone. Where are you? Oh, no, just a normal phone, huh? Uh, hello? Is, uh... Is anyone there? Setting up the environment, good. Oh, so you save at the uh, at the phones. Got it. Okay. Already seeked on that guy. Anything else here? I can't. Oh yeah, there was a bathroom. Radio appears to be damaged. Barely hanging to the wall. Remove it. Yeah. Rip that sucker off. <clears throat> Reach in the hole. Damaged, exposing the plasterboard behind. I may be able to break through with the right tool. You got a gun, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, filthy old 
bathtub, so I'm looking for like a hammer or something, looks like. Nothing there. Whoa. What the? What is that? Adolescent deceased asphyxiation. Can't really see it, but... Date of birth, 54. 27, 9, 54. Interesting. I wonder... I mean, obviously they're keeping it vague, but I wonder if it's like... 2154 or 2054 or what, right? Like, Alright, I got a document. Let's check it out. Child drawing. Bazillionaire. It was a bazillionaire. I would buy my mommy a new daddy and get a pizza every day. Alright. Good, good goals. Alright. What? Okay, just still telling us about poor Charlie Garwall, huh? Alright, how about in here? Nothing of any use in here. Sheets are stained. Hey, there we go. That's what I needed. A hammer lies embedded in the family portrait. Take it? Yeah! Now, in Silent Hill, there, there are some notorious things where if you say yes, bad things can happen, right? And so, this kind of lulls you into the false sense of security that, oh yeah, I should just always say yes. Why wouldn't I say yes? Of course I'm going to say yes, right? And then, eventually, you might have a problem. Alright. So yeah, this is... Hollowbody has been doing an excellent job of mimicking Silent Hill. But it's still its own thing, too. It doesn't feel like it's a derivative work. It just feels like a love lever to that sort of thing. Which is fun. I just want to... I want to get far enough that we can see something creepy. Okay. Isn't this the place I was just in? No. Guess not. That looks creepy. They're doing a good use of color, right? The fact that it's like almost all black and white, or not exactly black and white, but like sepia tone sorta. Except for when they want to call out attention to something like this. Child's bed, various toys and posters decorate the room. Either they left in a hurry or or what? They died. Okay. just trying to hurry and get to, like, a, an enemy. They've given me enough ammo that clearly they intend me to fight. Okay. Alright, well, it looks like I was following the right wall, so let's just stick along there. I like the visual indicator of open and close. That's nice. Board it up. Well, I have a claw hammer, right? Okay, won't open. I figured, but just wanted to check to see if they would tell me something like, yeah, I could get it with a tool. All right, one, one. Gates locked tight. Around and around we go. One, one, counter a baddie. Nobody knows. I'm trying to think which Silent Hill this is most like, and I'm thinking 2, if I remember right. It, uh, 2 had the, uh, very similar sort of mechanics for looking through the apartments and stuff. It smells like someone died in here. Any health? Doesn't look like it. Old television, probably worth a pretty penny in the right to the right collector. Okay, nasty sink. I didn't see a sink, but that's fine. Just trash. Hmm. Is there really nothing in here? Looks like it. Can I move this table out of the way? Go out the window? No. I mean, this seems like it's trying to point me to something, no? Why, 
why is there a red lamp there? Because so far they've always used color to indicate there's something interesting, but I just don't see what the red lamp is trying to point me to. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe this is uh, for later. I'll have to keep an eye on that. What was the number on this one? One nine. So there was something interesting in one nine that we haven't really figured out yet. Oh, can I take this board with a nail in it? An old wooden bat pierced with rusty nails is embedded in the door. Take it? Yeah. I want a makeshift club. All right, let's equip that puppy. Because... All right. Equip. Nice. Let's practice, I assume. Oh! Gosh! That scared me. All right, right... Right trigger does that. You can't really aim with left trigger with it. That's fine. Ooh, man. They did good. That door scared me plenty. Yeah, the audio design's really impressive. Again, I'm shocked that this is one person. University of Kingsbury, Helen Bridges, Doctor of Medicine. Awarded at the University of Kingsbury to Helen Bridges. The degree of Doctor of Medicine. That's what I just said, Mika. Gosh, it's like you're not even listening to me. All right. Oh, Helen. I've got something for your cranium. Oh, what? Wait, what? Who's making the noise? The one eating? Oh, that's creepy, all right. Eat it! Stomp her! Stomp her! She's not dead yet! Clock her head in! Yeah, keep going! Don't stop until she's dead! Uh, resident Helen Bridges, 2025. Oh, she was born in 2025. Interesting. So this time they didn't abbreviate it. So I, that 57 or 54 before, I assume, is 2057 or 2054. All right. Can I search her? Loot the corpse. Loot the corpse. Personal save is mounted on the wall. Uh, 20. What did it say? She was born 2025? No. Come on. Tell me about her again. 2025. 410, 25 maybe. 0410 maybe? Let's see. 0410. Maybe she does them backwards. 1004. No. Okay. It's definitely a four digit code. So what would the four digit code be? I'm excited though that we finally saw the creepy enemy. Three girls at a university graduation. Hmm. One of them appears to be heavily pregnant. Okay. Is that the same seek or is that a different seek? No, same one. Three. Okay. A young woman celebrating 30. her birthday. It looks like she has a kid. Can't be more than three or four years old. Okay. Was the number 30 in that? Alright, what am I missing? A letter from First Plus Health UK confirming Helen Bridges' new patient details. Her name is listed alongside her date of birth, 4th of October 2025. So they're making a big deal about the about the date of birth, 4th of October, 2025. But I tried the 4th of October. There's no dates on here. Awarded at the Interesting. I mean, it seems like they're going for 41025, but 
I tried that. Okay, well, let's try again. Four, ten, twenty-five. Yeah, they're definitely making that clear. What if I do four, ten? Oh, twenty-five. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Okay, so graduation, and then they showed us a birthday photo. So maybe they're saying that she graduated when she was thirty. So instead of twenty twenty-five, it would be twenty fifty-five. No. Hmm. First puzzle, and I'm already getting stumped. Cause yeah, there was a thirty. Uh, not on that picture. Okay. patient details well maybe I'll come back here because I, I seem to be missing some what number is this one doesn't say what number it is great well that's that's helpful it's the blood stain the blood stain room I didn't feel like there was anything else in here was there hmm I feel like I'm missing a clue because these were just dead ends right this was 119 or 19 there was something we missed in here because it was just like a big empty room and there was the red light can I look at the picture no maybe now that I've killed somebody it'll be a little different doesn't look like it I might have the audio down too low, but can you hear like the hissing in the background? There's like a voice whispering and hissing. Okay. Well, let's go back up this way. That light's making a fluorescent buzzing noise, but even though there's no light in the socket. One more is locked, yep. Can I break it open with this? No. Interesting. I could go back through the hole. And then this is the only other room I can go into. I don't remember seeing a document in here, but... Well, let's check the tub, because it said there was a pool of water in there. Can I unplug it? No, can't do it. Okay. What's it telling me to seek? Just use this junk, okay. All right, maybe she was friends with one of these people? I don't know. Left in a hurry. How about here, is there a document on the desk? No. Well, I'm getting a little stumped. I don't see anything in these other places, so I think it's gotta be self-contained in that room which means it's got to have something to do with October 4th I just don't get what they're going for I don't think there was anything else in there I'm not gonna go back in okay okay so let's go here and let's figure out the wall safe oh no bloody rooms this way Okay. Nope. There's a seek there. Just the just the sink, okay. Alright, I already looked at the diploma. There weren't any numbers on the diploma. From First Plus Health UK confirming Helen Bridges' new patient details. Her name is listed alongside her date of birth. 4th of October, 2025. 4th of October, 2025. But there's got to be more to it than that. A young woman celebrating her birthday. It looks like she has a kid. Can't be more than three or four years old. All right, so... 2025. And so... Okay, so about, how about this? I did 2055, um, but if her kid was already three or four, 
then it would be uh, 2051. Or, oops. It would be 2052 when her kid was born. Ah, okay, got it. A large metal key hides in the back of the safe. I take the key, yes. Whew. All right, I assume that's for the gate. Let's get out of here. Book it. Let's see, the gate was down here, I believe. And then left. Whoa. I want to get a good look at it. Maybe I should let it kill me so we can see what happens. Oh, system's critical. Okay. Ooh, the spindly legs are freaky. I do not like it. Now, I mean, I see the, the red. I'm curious if I'll heal or if it's just like... I mean, I guess there's medical sprays. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have let it kill me, but that's fine. We're just going to keep going. Okay. Whoa. Freaky. No. Do not want die. Gonna beat you. Oh, he got me. Or she, I guess. All right, let's back up a little bit and take another swing. Stomp it. Curb stomp that little freaky thing. All right. Oh, I still I gotta try out the gun. I haven't tried the gun. Okay. Okay. That radiator's fine. Smells like someone died in here. Gotcha. More of the same. Okay. What can I find in here? Not touching any of that. Some trash. Alright, so it looks like when you're hurt, it'll keep flashing system critical, which is kind of irritating, so... Let's go ahead and use a health spray. There we go. It's. I know it's trash. I wanted to get through there. I want you to move it. All right, that's fine. All right. Well, let's see if we can use the key here. Item. Key. It's unlocked. Let's go through. Thank you for playing this early demo. Okay, so this is the full demo. I am excited. I'm definitely going to go wishlist this. So if you ever have played the Silent Hill games, especially Silent Hill 2, and you enjoy this style of game, then go and wishlist this one. It's called a Hollow Body, and it's by Headware Games. You can get it on Steam. It's excellent. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below because I think it was absolutely fantastic. All right. Catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.